Hey guys, it's Jerry JCK Crispy. Are you ready for a binaural conversation? Good, me too. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let me see if it's recording. Yep. Hi. As you guys know, my name is Jared. Jared Chason. I'm playing poker right now, so excuse me. If and when I do look down, okay. So, today, I want to talk to you guys about responsibility. Find something inside of you that will change the way that you view life. Now, does it have to be a negative thing? No. I'd actually advise it to be a positive connotation, something that will be upbuilding, constructive, and basically to help you move on in your life in the direction that you want to go. What I mean by that, well, it's very simple and basic. What do you want to do with your life? Or, where do you want to be like five years from now? Maybe ten years from now? Maybe one year from now? Maybe even a few months from now? Like six months? Okay? You have to have goals. And you have to take baby steps to reach those goals. Or, you can go by leaps and bounds. But at the same token, you know, it's quantity or quality. You can have a lot of quantity, but lower quality, or vice versa, depending on how you move and your frequencies move. Okay? So that makes a lot of sense right there, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, so that's the basic here thing that we're discussing uh, before we... Uh, move on in our conversation and uh, things of that nature let's go ahead and jump topics because that's what I do best I jump topics okay now I want to talk about anatomy or physiology or dimensional other dimensional beings okay can move through frequencies okay so that's why when you see some people they say they do magic and some are fake and very mostly are fake and some are real some are actually real and will discredit themselves as even being fake well why is that there's a lot of reasons why to do that okay okay but one of them is being that uh, someone will recognize the true clarity of the situation what's really going on okay and that will uh, you know, it could be uh, difficult for many people to understand. But basically, let's go to, you know, Einstein. Einstein's theory, formula that he left on Earth with the rest of us before he died. Okay, E equals MC squared. I know you guys know how that looks. It's an E equals mc with the 2 on the top okay that's squared 2 squared okay so energy equals mass times the speed of light squared okay that's times the speed of light not the speed of sound okay the different frequencies okay you have to realize that once you realize that, you understand also uh, equation can be put backwards. Mass equals energy times the speed of light squared. Now, so all matter basically is energy running off of different frequencies, creating different densities in matter. For instance, um, sitting on this wooden chair, it has a higher density frequency than my skin. Okay? I don't know about my bone, but my skin, okay, they're different frequencies. Uh, okay, so neuroplasmic, you know, things and 
humans nowadays, um, for instance, Plum Island, if you do not know what Plum Island is, I did not know what Plum Island was for a while, uh, I don't know if you've heard of the Montauk Monster, and the Manhattan Monster, things and creatures that have been and uh, washed up ashore, found by other people, okay, these uh, creatures are deceased entities, were uh, to blame to from coming from Plum Island, okay, with that being said, I'm going to conspiracy theories here, and the unknown, okay, unknown, this was like, okay, a hundred years ago, they'd already created, you know, stargates, uh, time travel, okay, and things of that nature, like, there's things now that are already created, and they're trying to basically hide from the rest of the world, and now they're having a hard time doing that, okay, let's, for instance, Area 51, Area 51, you know, the people there, it was really easy to cover up aliens, you know, back in the day, and, uh, it was really easy covering them up, and when someone saw something in the sky, or something of that nature, you know, they would have an easy story in the media to blame it on. Now, are the one percenters involved? The one percenters, of course, they're involved. They usually are involved, because the one percenters, being on top of the world as we know it, well, they have a high amount of multi-level uh, frequencies through entities um, which some people call them interdimensional beings, spirits, or uh, demons, things of that nature. Um, they will be the highest to be, uh, how do you say, influenced because of the fact that they're on the top. Now they may have been on the top for that particular reason as well because of the fact that they could have maybe a special gift, maybe they could think a certain way that other people cannot think, okay, so that's just to give you a clue, an idea of that, now, jumping topics again here, we're going into bipolar mode, okay, DARPA, D-A-R-P-A, -A, defense, okay, this is what it's called, this is what it stands for, DARPA, defense, hold on, I got a good, I got a good hand right here, Okay, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agencies. Now, the guy from DARPA moved to Google. Now, he's running Google and buying. He bought off YouTube and they're trying to take over the freaking internet, man. Okay? So, basically what I'm saying is... I'm going to win this hand. Basically what I'm saying is... Uh, it's just the top trickles down and tries to take over as many and as much as they possibly can to be like a pyramid or a triangle. I don't know if you've seen all the videos, you know, um, if you're familiar with Illuminati and think of the nature, it all goes back to the triangle and the all-seeing eye, and Lucifer's eye, and this and that. Oh no, someone got a full house. Bastard. Okay, so, uh, anyways. That goes back to the triangle. That's one of the meanings of the triangle. Another meaning of the triangle is the three sides. The three sides in meaning three. Three, three, three. Uh, you know, triple six. Things of that nature. It's three, the triangle, Father, Son, and the Spirit. Uh, a lot of things of that nature um, trickle down and are related to the tri. Okay? So... Stop moving. That's weird. Okay, so moving right along. They've already created, going back to Plum Island, you know, glow in the dark. Uh, glow in the dark fish, glow in the dark monkey, glow in the dark rabbit, glow in the dark rats. Of course, they do everything with rats first, and then they start experimenting on. Uh, human beings, okay, now these things all have a uh, commonality in them if you want to say that, um, and they've already moved on, this was, oh, you know, 50 years ago that they had made the glow-in-the-dark creators, 
and uh, I've been seeing uh, you could watch YouTube videos um, on you know this I really like this one it's like a, a dragon type species of a bird okay I, I don't know if you've seen the snapping turtles snapping turtles open their mouths like really wide and they have birds okay birds don't do that I've never seen any bird with that type of feature in the mouth with like a beak in the mouth you know just snapping <clears throat> and it had it could fly and it had feathers and this was found in Matamoros Mexico okay not that long ago okay this is a dragon type species that has already been created and it's flying around <clears throat> excuse me these weird animals are excuse me species are have already escaped are been brought out of Plum Island and are you know just basically loose okay now don't get me wrong there's a lot of other creatures that are not like that but those are the ones that usually get washed ashore why they can't fly simple as that so you're gonna be seeing initially the strange uh, creatures that will fly okay because they're extremely easy to um, escape or to let loose or free off of Plum Island you don't know where it came from because it, they're flying critters okay get it straight okay let me see here oh my goodness alright guys uh, so that will be the end of this conversation here right now um, we'll make another one of these videos probably by the end of the day maybe tomorrow or maybe I'll just do another one right now when I, uh, after I you know, get some things done alright guys thank you and thank you for joining in the first bio neural conversation thanks guys have a great day